hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please ensure to like, share, and subscribe. And also click the bell notification in the top right hand corner to be made aware anytime I upload tutorials or videos to YouTube. All right, let's craft together. Hey guys, I am going to um, sublimate this image that I created in ChatGPT and Midjourney. I started out in Midjourney and then I took it over to ChatGPT and had GPT to recreate it. So this initially was a Midjourney image. And I have now printed it out on 13 by 19 sublimation paper. And I'm cutting it down to size to put on this 12 by 12 canvas. And I ordered these canvases off of Amazon. I will link them in the description of this video tutorial. I'm going to sublimate this design at 375 for two minutes. And then I am going to spray it after it dries i'm going to give it a couple of hours i normally like to wait a couple of hours um and then i'm going to spray it with the uh clear acrylic sealer do not do this immediately after printing or sublimating because it will bleed and run your ink will run off so you want to make sure that you are not spraying immediately after you finish your image. I want to give it a couple of hours. You could even let it sit overnight and then spray it. But I'm going to walk through the process with you. So here I have my canvas. I have my image. My image is going to cover my entire canvas here, hopefully, or thereabouts. So very close. Here, as you can see, I'm going to have very little white left on there. So you can see how that's going to look. I want to make sure I get it centered. So I'm going to go ahead and place it onto my canvas here. Let me make sure I don't have a whole bunch of white on there. And I don't. And I don't. I gotta find my um oh there it is. I was about to say I gotta find my heat tape because on my dispenser because I couldn't find it earlier when I was doing a sublimation project. Alright, so I wanna make sure that my white is pretty even going around this baby so that it looks intentional. Alright. All right, I think that's pretty good. Out. So I'm just going to put some heat tape. And I want to act right. I'm going to grab some heat tape here and just place it on my corners. Just to make sure everything is down on my canvas. I'm going to use just a little, I might use my Teflon sheet on top. I think I'm going to put my, that's why it's acting funny because I was at the end of the tape. Woohoo! All right. So now we have it taped down to our canvas. And we are now going to go ahead and take it to the heat press. Now, when we press this, guys, I'm not going to pick it up immediately because um, the heat from your heat press will warp your will warp your um canvas and it'll start to like 
bend because it's going to get really soft and flexible. So do not pick it up. Just leave it sitting on your canvas. I mean, on your heat press, just go ahead and cut the heat press off. Let it sit. I'm going to let mine sit for a couple of hours, um, but I will show you what it looks like immediately after pressing. And then I'm going to take my Kryon, Krylon, um, clear acrylic sealer, and I'm going to spray a light coating of that on here to give it the glossy effect because I'm not going to be putting any laminating sheets on here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take this to the press. Image I created in Mid Journey, took it over to ChatGPT and had it to recreate the image for me. And in Mid Journey, it was a blended image. So I took two images, blended them together, and then took that image over to ChatGPT and had GPT to work its magic. Okay. All right. So, anywho, and then I took it into Canva and added the words because we know that Mid Journey doesn't do words and ChatGPT does words, but sometimes it's a struggle. So I took it into Canva Pro and put the words on there. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and go to the press all right guys here we are at the press and i have it all situated here and we are going to go ahead and get this party started so i'm going to put a piece of i said tef uh, teflon but i'm just going to use a sheet of butcher paper and i will bring you back when we're about five seconds out All right, guys, we're about five seconds out. This baby is gonna be hot. Do not, do not lift. Do not lift, okay? And what I mean by that is do not touch this. Just let it, just let it stay on the canvas, flat like that, I mean on the heat press, flat like that. Do not attempt to lift it up. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut my tape, but I'm not going to do anything with lifting my canvas off. I'm just going to leave my canvas like it is because at this point, guys, it's really soft. I did 375 for a total of two minutes, and I'm not using laminating sheets. So all I'm doing is removing the tape and that's it. Oh, this is going to be so pretty when I spray it. Oh my God. All right. So that's our image right now. It's going to look very light, which is fine. Once we put that sealer on it and I'll show you guys the sealer here that I'm going to use. Oh, that's going to be so pretty. No lifting. No lifting. Just leave it sitting. It'll kind of warp a little bit, but do not pick it up and start messing with it. Just let it stay on your heat press. Now I'm going to let this sit here. Ooh. Hot, hot, hot for a couple of hours and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to spray it with you guys so you can see how it um, turns it glossy okay without using a laminating sheet and I'll show you an example This is an image that I did the same way. No laminating sheet. Follow the same process. So you can see how this one looks matte and dull. Once we spray it with the um, Kryon, it's going to become vibrant like this one. Give you guys that visual. So it's going to become vibrant, just like this one, okay? And this one doesn't have any, um, it doesn't have any laminating sheets on it, all right? Just, 
just the clear spray. And this is the spray, Pralon Kamar Varnish. All right. So this is what we're going to be spraying on here. And we're going to give it, I'm going to give it a couple of hours just to, you know, sit. And then I'll bring you back and we'll spray it together so you can see the difference and how we get that glossy look. All right. All right, guys, it's been a couple hours, and I'm going to go ahead and spray this Kamar varnish onto our canvas. And you don't want to spray like this. You want to have it up about 12 to 13 inches from your canvas, and you're just going to spray it, just a light spray. Just like that just that easy and do not pick this up guys you want to allow it to dry if you start messing with it you're going to smear your colors just let it dry and it's going to be beautiful you don't have to add a lot of spray you saw me just do little squirts across the canvas but this is how i do my sublimated canvases without using laminating sheets and they still come out glossy with that varnish on there all right so i'm going to let this sit and dry and it's going to be good to go just like the canvas that i showed you in the um earlier part of the video it's going to come out just like that one all right all you need to do is just get you a little bit of crayon Krylon Kamar varnish, all right? And it doesn't, like you saw me, it doesn't take a lot. And if you look up, I got all canvases up on my wall that I've done with this same process and they all have that glossy, that glossy look. All right, so you do not have to use, um, you do not have to use laminating sheets, all right? All right, guys, that is it. That is the end of this video tutorial. Really short and quick. Um, if you're currently in my Facebook group, I want to thank you guys so much for following me via Facebook. If you would like to join my Facebook group, it is called Ken Doris's Cricket and Creative Crafters. All you have to do is click on the link in the description of this video tutorial and agree to the Facebook group rules and you are in. Okay, and then if you are currently subscribed to my YouTube channel, I want to thank you guys so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. And if you are seeing my video tutorial for the first time, and if you like my method of teaching, because there's lots of us out there, content creators, then please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. All right, and that's it, guys. All you'll need is image of choice. I um, printed this out on 13 by 19 a sub paper using a sub ink on my Epson workforce 7720 and these canvases I got on Amazon I'll link them in the video description they're 12 by 12 and then I'm just using this cry Krylon spray that I got at I think Walmart or either Michaels one of the craft stores and I pressed it at 375 for two minutes all right so you can still get that glossy look guys without using laminating sheets all right that's my story i'm sticking to it you guys know my motto is each one reach one so that each one can teach one and you guys have an amazing day bye